I use the spanner as a template to draw the outline on the page and draw from observation to add details to use as a guide for painting. I use black and white acrylic paint and mix them together to get a shade of grey. I add this shade of grey to the head of the spanner, mix a light tone for the edge and paint a neat straight line down the side of the spanner. I paint a thinner dark line on the opposite side and add texture to the head in a darker tone. I mix a lighter grey for the main body of the spanner and paint the opposite head lighter. I add a light grey tone to the midsection and paint a bold dark line under the light head which creates a contrast to make the spanner look 3D. I create a gradation from dark to light on the light head. Underneath the dark head, I emphasise the darker tone to make the contours of the head glimmer. I darken the body of the spanner to make it consistent with the dark head. I paint the background black for two reasons. One, because my background is black, and two, to lift the spanner off the page, making it stand out, contrast and look real. I pay close attention to the edges of the spanner, taking my time not to paint over my work. I darken the dark head of the spanner to make it consistent with the background. I look carefully at my painting and make final tweaks to complete it. And that is how to paint a spanner using black and white acrylic paint.